What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE Action Figure Elite news for you guys, as well as some Ultimate Edition news for you. We have some pretty epic stuff going on. We're going to get into a brand new WWE Elite Series set. It is Elite Series 95, and we do get this news from my man Christian on Stable 1047. You guys remember the long legend. Finally returned to YouTube yesterday, I believe it was, and he brought along some news with him, and I figured we could pass that news along. If you guys missed out on that video then I'm going to discuss it here today man Elite Series 95 seems like a pretty like when you break it down it kind of seems like kind of a heavy hitter set but at the same time not my favorite set of all time we're going to break all those things down I'm going to give you my reasoning I'm going to discuss what attires maybe we're getting for these people and we have a lot of stuff going on man so let's go ahead and dive in Elite Series 95 huge shout out to my man Christian Unstable 1047 go sub to his channel link in the description below man but let's go ahead and dive in man starting out first with Elite Series 95 the first figure we have is going to be shot Blackheart. Now, Shotzi Blackheart, we already knew we were getting this figure in Elite 95. I think we saw it way back when. I, I think we've seen this for a while now. And her figure looks awesome. You got the screaming head sculpt. You got all of her tattoos going on. I think this is going to be one of the better women's figures of the year. I think that it could rival some of those Ultimate Edition figures. It's going to be a good one. I could see that, no doubt. I think Alexa Bliss's Ultimate right there with it. I think they could battle it out at the end of the year there with the double jointedness and the tattoos and, you know, how, how figure etic she looks, toy etic she looks. Should be insane, but Shotzi Blackheart's the first figure in Elite 95. It's one that we already knew about, so I figured I'd knock her out first, then we can proceed with the rest of the line here. So the next figure we have, guys, is going to be none other than the legend, Eddie Guerrero. We have another Eddie Guerrero in the set. Haven't seen an Eddie Guerrero Elite since his Hall of Fame or Legends figure. It was his Legends figure, not Hall of Fame. I don't know why. I guess because they're both Target exclusive kind of threw me for a loop. We did get a Hall of Fame Legends, or we did get a Hall of Fame Eddie Guerrero, but I meant the Legends series there. So we did have the Legends series, but we're getting another one, and this one should be great as well. It will have double jointed arms, of course. I like the formula they used for Eddie Guerrero last time, so this should be wonderful. I think it's going to be a beautiful looking figure. Hopefully we get, you know, some of his great attires that we've seen in the past. I mean, there's so many different Different ways they could do it. They could give us a Los Guerreros. They could do, you know, uh, some of his Attitude Era. I mean, they could even do his WWE Championship run. Honestly, I'd like to see one of those 0405 gears, but you know, I could see, I could see others as well. I, I don't really care. You know, it doesn't matter to me. One thing that I thought about: if we're getting Elite 95 Eddie Guerrero, does that mean that we're going to be getting a low rider car in the in the series soon? Are we going to be getting a low rider wrecking mobile next after the ATV from Big E? Maybe something to look into. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see about that. But around the time Elite 95 is starting to hit stores, maybe the Lowrider will also be hitting. That's just something that came to my brain there. But Eddie Guerrero is the next figure in the set. Next up on Elite Series 95, guys, is going to be none other than Jimmy Uso. We have Jimmy Uso up next. You guys know that Jay Uso was a, a part of Elite Series 90 or 91. I think it was Elite Series 90, right? With the Randy Orton and all those different things there. Pretty solid Jay Uso that we got. So Jimmy should follow, a, you know, follow suit in that with like his attire and stuff. Now, this is where it pains me. You know, they use usually come in the same set. They usually are always a part of the same wave. We've seen that multiple times in their careers, but uh, they split them up this time, and they split them up this time and gave us white pants yet again. We saw white pants way back in Elite Series 54. They gave us the whiteout gear, which is cool, but we have been like just pleading for black jogger Usos with the black accessories, you know, black t-shirt, black sleeves, black jackets, hoodies, hats, bandanas, all these different things. We've been we've been clamoring for that for quite a while, so now it pains me to see Jimmy Elite Series 95 probably going to be in the white gear, you know, probably going to be in the white gear. I do not know when the next time we're going to get Uso Elites is, so it's probably going to be a little bit there, so that does pain me not to see black joggers, even if they just, just release a figure with black joggers, you know what I'm saying? Give me some black joggers so that I can at least make the custom, do a torso swap and get a custom going or something because I got to have these black joggers. I'm not talking about the Shane McMahon mold. I want the Usos bunched up jogger pants that they have came with for a while now since Elite Series 54. That is what I'm trying to see there but unfortunately, I'm sure he'll be in white. It would be cool to see him in black, you know, to have a black jogger Jimmy and a white jogger Jay, and then you could do the torso swaps and stuff to get the black jogger look with the accessories, but I just hope this figure is great. I'd love to see the Bloodline shirt come with him, but since uh, Jay didn't really have anything Bloodline related, uh, I think that this one probably won't either, so we may have to wait a little while for that, or maybe they'll do it. They've done battle packs with it, just not an elite there, but Jimmy is the next figure there, and hopefully it'll be just as good as the Jay was. Next to 
the set, man, we have my favorite wrestler of all time. We have John Cena coming into the Elite set. Haven't really seen a main Elite line John Cena in a minute, right? I mean, we've had the top picks. We had the Legends. We've had, you know, these different sets. We had Ultimate Editions. We haven't seen him in the main Elite line in a decent amount of time, at least. At least for John Cena's sake. So seeing him return right here is no really surprise. It will be beautiful to see. You know, it just depends on what they go with. They'll, they'll probably go with the shorter short mold because I'm guessing it's probably going to be his SummerSlam gear, right? That is what I would expect it. Maybe they'll give him the Ultimate Edition style t-shirt where you get the graphic on the front and back. I think that would be really cool. Hat, armbands, all those different things. If it's not his SummerSlam gear, it'll probably be his return gear at Money in the Bank. I think it was in the green and yellow. So that would be really cool. And I think that would be awesome. Either one they do, it'll be fine with me. I think it'd be badass if they did like him as the chase and then you had the silver slam gear as one and then you had the green and yellow gear as the other that'd be really cool doubt they go that far with it but that's just something that you know i'd like to see but regardless of the fact john cena is in the next set and i think it'll be beautiful you know that SummerSlam gear was really really sweet i know a lot of people love that gear uh with the black shirt and all that stuff so that would be a really cool gear but john cena is the next in the set and i'm guessing this will probably be our last main elite line john cena until elite series 100 i full i fully fledged believe that he will be in elite series 100 and i'm guessing at san diego comic-con they're probably going to show us uh you know elite series 100 or at least tease it, right? They're, they're probably going to tease it. Maybe they'll reveal Elite Series 100, at least who's going to be in the set. Maybe that's what they have planned, but I would definitely guarantee that John Cena will be in Elite Series 100, but he is the fourth figure in the set, and we're moving on to number five in the set, which is going to be Bobby Lashley. We have another Bobby Lashley shortly after his last Elite, so, so far he had, what, the Elite Series 69, he had the Royal Rumble Elite, he had the Elite Series 89, I think it was, and that is all of his figures, I think. I think that's all the ones we've seen so far. So three different Elite Bobby Lashleys. This will make number four. Really cool, you know. I, I don't see how he really needed one that soon. But he was WWE Champion. He's, you know, he was the most recent champion until Brock Lesnar took the title back. So I could see them doing maybe his red gear would be really sweet. He would also be an excellent choice for the Chase variant because you could do the red tights. And then the Chase variant could be the white tights that we love to see. Uh, you know, because that wouldn't require much. You just change some graphic colors and you pump it out there. You don't need like all new deco and stuff so that'd be really cool if they could swing that that would be awesome to see the black and white gear that we just recently saw if he wanted to do that so the red gear would be sweet and the white gear but Bobby Lashley is the next one don't know if we really needed a Bobby Lashley that soon there I think there's plenty of people that could have plugged in Elite 95 but Bobby Lashley is the next one right there those are just the two gears that I would like to see for Bobby and then the next figure in the set and the last figure in the set is going to be Big E now that comes as a shock as well but I mean you have some pretty notable names in this set you know, I'd say like a lot of like big time WWE champion, like literally four out of the six people in this wave have been WWE champions. So that's kind of ridiculous. Big E, Bobby Lashley, John Cena, and Eddie Guerrero. So that's pretty cool to see right there. I mean, uh, four, five out of the six of these are probably Hall of Famers, possibly. So, I mean, that's pretty wild there. I guess Bobby Lashley still yet to be determined there, but he has a pretty successful career. I don't know if it's Hall of Fame worthy, but you guys get what I'm saying. So yeah, Big E is the last one in the set. You know, we did get his figure in what, Elite Series 78 in the we just recently got his Royal Rumble Elite. So, you know, uh, we, we've kind of had some Big E's here lately. No double jointed arm Big E's or anything like that. So that'll be cool to see. I'm guessing that Kofi and Xavier will probably come in Elite Series 96, 97 with double jointed arms. I feel like we just got their, their Elites, but I guess it has been a while. You know, those Kofi Kingston's, we got a lot there for a minute when he was champion. And then Xavier Woods did have his similar gear. He had like that Snoop Dogg head sculpt. You guys remember that way back when. So it does feel like those were just released, but at the same time, Time, though I guess it was kind of a decent minute because we're in Elite Series like 92, 93 now and those were like way back in Elite Series 78, 79 so that's kind of ridiculous man but that pretty much wraps up our Elite Series 95 that is Elite Series 95 Shotzi Blackheart, Eddie Guerrero, Jimmy Uso, John Cena, Bobby Lashley and Big E now if we get into the Ultimate Edition set you guys remember way back when uh, we leaked out Elite Ultimate Edition Series 14 it was Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio and apparently those are still like slated or Rey Mysterio was going to be the one, but then he was replaced by Jeff Hardy. So apparently Jeff Hardy was supposed to be in this Ultimate Edition set with Roman Reigns, and then he got released by the company, right? Or he, he's no longer with WWE. So now it's up in the air on who's going to be in that set. Is it still going to be Jeff Hardy? Are they going back to Rey Mysterio? Are they going to, or whatever the case is there? Uh, apparently they are keeping Roman Reigns, which makes total sense. Like, I, I definitely see us getting the Roman Reigns. Like, that's an absolute fact. You know, uh, I, I don't see any 
any problems with that whatsoever. That'll definitely be the case that we are getting a Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition. You can already see it, right? I think it'll be a beautiful looking figure, hopefully with different, you know, man bun head sculpts and different things. A yelling head sculpt would be really sweet. Uh, you know, get a nice hairline in there and the fade and just should be really beautiful. Since he's not very creative from the waist down, you know, just the black joggers and, and boots, hopefully they get really cool with like the gauntlets and they get detailed with the head sculpts and the interchangeability and hopefully it's just a beautiful looking figure. So hopefully that'll be the case, but Roman Reigns is a part of Ultimate Edition, Ultimate Edition Series 4 and Rey Mysterio or Jeff Hardy will be that next figure right there and hopefully both of those regardless if we get I would love to see Jeff Hardy I don't think we'll get Jeff Hardy now but that would be really cool to see and either way either whether we get Rey or Jeff it'll still be beautiful to see and since Jeff's no longer with the company I think Rey Mysterio will definitely be the one plugged back in there and hopefully it's just a good gear man I just hope we get a good gear with some good accessories same thing the ultimate editions like they are made by the accessories I think so that that's going to be what the deal is there man but that is it for the news huge shout out again to my man Christian on Stable 1047 for Elite Series 95 and the Ultimate Edition Series 14 news there. But I'm getting out of here, man. Let me know your thoughts on the whole wave down below. Uh, not my favorite wave ever. It just doesn't like stand out to me, even though you do have some heavy hitters. I'm excited for John Cena. I'm excited for Eddie Guerrero. I guess the shots he's pretty so I, I don't know. I guess it's just not a lot of like first time kind of figures, I guess, is why it's just not standing out to me that much. And I feel like we just recently got Bobby Lashley. We just recently got Big E. Jimmy's not gonna, he's gonna be matching Jay in the white, and it's something we've seen before. I'm excited to see John Cena with his new updated technology, double jointed arms and stuff like that, and an elite. Maybe they'll change up some other, like, uh, technologies he has going on with his figure. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking or something like that. You guys can let me know what you think of the wave down in the comment section below, man. But I am getting out here, and uh, I'm gonna go take care of some stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't cross the line like uh, me when I see this John Cena. You cross